K-I-L-R Killer Games Hey, guess what? It's another fun video with yours truly, Killer Gamer and Nerd Gamer. 2K. <laughs> and we're going to kind of play a, 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 a kind of like a double double header game here. Where we're going to be playing the classic Mist along with Real Mist. And as far as getting owned, eh, it's kind of hard to get owned in this game. But, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so Mist, the Adventure Island. It was designed and directed by brothers Robin and Rand Miller. It's a graphic adventure puzzle game. As if you probably didn't already know. <laughs> it was released originally for the Mac in 1993. And it was ported to many, 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 many platforms. You are the stranger. Ooh. Yes, you are. Because I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. I guess we're all strangers to each other. Except for me and Nerd Gamer 2K. Assuming we're sitting next to each other, right? Yeah. Alright, anyway. Uh, Mist was a surprise hit. And it was the best selling PC game until The Sims. The Sims 1, folks. Exceeded sales in 2002. Yeah, not Sims 4. Or 3, or 10, or, you know, whatever. Alright, so Myst, it actually helped drive the adoption of the CD-ROM format. Because uh, this was first released on CD-ROM, and it wowed people. And they're like, how do I play it? Floppy? Nope. Floppy disk? <laughs> nope. So, yeah, people got CD-ROMs just to play this game, uh, as well as The Seventh Guest. That was another one. Four, there are four direct sequels to Myst, and there are several spin-off games. So, the other game we're playing is Real Myst, and that is a 3D interactive remake. So, this has free-roaming 3D graphics, whereas Myst is more... Uh, I guess you guess you could say kind of like screenshot type of uh, traveling, but hey, you know, back in 1993, that was pretty incredible. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, Real Miss, what it did is it added a new age called Rhyme. Oh, and apparently that's it. So, <laughs> uh, uh, just in case you kind of want to see things again, uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and play. Mist and Real Mist. I think PowerPoint just owned me. I don't it know. did. That's her own. That's what it is. All right. Anyway, say I told you it was going to happen one, you know, sooner or later. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and play this and have some fun and see if we can make it through the adventure island of Mist. Or is it Real Mist? Or is it Fake Mist? Is Mist even floating around the mountain? Mountain? Island? Whatever it is. Mountain. I don't know. Mountain. Island. Looks like an island to me. Why are we still talking? I don't know. Who knows? Big explosion! Boom! Ah! And an O. And, and uh, it's... Yeah! Red Orb. That's what it is. Entertainment! In case you couldn't figure that out. I thought it was Redorb. Re... Redorb? <laughs> ding! 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 I always like this opening. Ding! 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 Those black and white stuff. And it's, it's really small. Cayenne. Cyan. I don't know. How's that pronounced? Cyan? Cayenne? Well, that's how Cayenne Pepper is spelled. Who? Oh, Ky well, see, when I think Cayenne, I think of Cayenne Pepper. Yeah. Which is spelled differently. Oh. I could be wrong. <laughs> Mist! Isn't that supposed to be spelled M I S T? Not necessarily. True. Like mystery. I realized the moment it's I a fell into crescent the moon book would not be destroyed as I had planned. Oh, I'm falling! I just disappeared. 
No, I'm the book is missing. It it's falling. I must admit, however, such Robin with a Y. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my missed book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet yet been written. Boom! Boom! I like how it hits the ground there, and you see these little sparks and stuff. Woo. All right, so it sounds like whoever wrote this book, uh, apparently, dead. maybe I don't know. He fell down a chasm and disappeared, and this book uh, fell down. Uh, and we're somewhere. I don't know where we're at. At the bottom of a hole? There's stars. Who knows? So I guess we... What? What do we do? What do you think? Click the book. Click the book. Yeah. Alright. This is the book of mist. Game over. Or not. What in the world? Huh? I bet it was supposed to open. Okay, so we have a picture going on here what looks like an island some trees and an observatory something I like think. that Ooh. I hear wind Ooh. Ooh. what do we do close the book I think you should click on wherever you can click let's let's close the book it doesn't want us to close the book. Well, I guess we're going to have to tear this picture out of the book. Oh, uh, no. We got sucked into... Nothingness. Nothingness. Actually, something us. <laughs> we're using our imagination while we're reading the book. Ah. That's a bird. There's a bird up here. Or it's a dragon. Uh, uh, there's a couple birds up here. There's three. There's a lot. <laughs> See, this is the Masterpiece Edition, so there are animations in here, but it's not with you moving around, so I believe that was all there before. Alright, where do we go, Ner Nergamer? Uh, wherever we can go. Upwards, I guess. What, you mean up here? Or for forwards first. Forward, okay. Um, what if you click that thingy? This? Yeah. Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> just clicks it. It's all it does. Okay. Well, then click wherever. Oh, you tell me. Where should we go? Up the stairs. Up the stairs. All right. And oh. then... I think we're up. Oh, we're turning. We're facing that way. We can't go the other way if we want. I guess we'll go the, that way. This way? Yeah. All Alright, so I guess we're turned around here and we're going to, what, go up? Yeah. Alright. So up, up we go. Paper. 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 Paper, let's see. Catherine, I've left for you a message of utmost importance in our four chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. Yours, Atreus. Huh? Atrius. Oh. A-T-R-I-S. I believe that's right. Okay, so I guess we need to find out where this four chamber is and how many markers we have on this island. Well, I saw one. Okay, so yeah, there was one back there. There was one up there. <clears throat> okay. Where are we moving Go forward? Up. Yeah. Right. Go that. Here? Yeah. There's two. So we got two. Where, where are we going? Um, to the right. Right. Oh, right, this way. And through there. Through there. All right. Wasn't here. Um, click the bookshelf. Well, that just brought us closer. Oh, maybe it'll bring us even closer. And closer. And closer. Or not. That book looks burned. It looks destroyed. We. What about the nice books? Which one? The green one. Alright, the green one. Yeah, this has got something. I have called this age Channel Wood, and it is a very different world, though it is exactly how I imagined it. It is still amazing to see it with my own eyes. 
Water covers this age as far as I can see except for a small rocky island. Elsewhere, there are only trees which grow directly out of the water. A myriad of thin wooden passageways are built just above the water and disappear into the big forest. I assume they were built some time ago for they appear aged. I am eager to discover more about this land and its people, but I have arrived here late and I must rest. This land? I think we might be standing on it. Uh, let's see. I was awakened this morning by strange noises coming from a pathway adjacent to the one on which I had slept. I saw a group of monkey-like people heading <laughs> in my direction. Monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. They had not seen me yet. I did not feel threatened by their presence. Their response to me was one that I would have never expected. As we turn the page. After staring at me for a short time, I freaked out. They fell to their knees <laughs> and began what appeared to be some sort of ceremonial worship. Oh. I tried to speak to them, but they did not understand my language. Instead, they indicated through enthusiastic hand motions that I was to follow them. Makes sense. Unless it was a trap. Mm -hmm. As we walked, I began to notice that the waters below us were changing colors. Slowly, subtly. They would change from deep blue to muddy orange. Yeah. That's an ugly color. It Can you is imagine ugly. wearing a shirt, muddy orange. Jeez. Oh, then from muddy orange, I want to see a crayon called muddy orange, <laughs> to beautifully clear, I was so intrigued by the water. I hardly noticed that we had arrived at a ladder. Climbing the ladder led us to their village, which is about 10 meters above the water and can only be reached by rope. Ladders that stretch from the lower pass to the village level approximately halfway up the grand trees. It is a very interest it is very interesting to watch or watching these people carry out their daily tasks. Don't mind me, I can't read. Even after watching them for hours, I did not understand exactly what turn the page they were doing. At sunset, they motioned for me to follow them again. I followed the creatures to the doorway of an enormous hut. Strangely, once inside, I found that the hut appeared even larger than it had from the outside. It's a TARDIS. It's a TARDIS. <laughs> the walls were garnished with bright metals, and in the center of the hut sat the leader of these people. Hum, 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 hum. At least <laughs> he appeared to be their leader, for he sat a meter off the floor in a thick throne. Guards surrounded the strong creature who was dressed in many exotic, colorful fabrics. Wow. He was flamboyant. <laughs> Next to the leader sat a very old human, at least to some extent he appears human. His hair, which was only his face and head, was completely gray, almost white, and hung very long around his frail body. His thin head, almost said hand, hand. hung... Say that fast. Head hung, head hung. No, I won't go there. No. Limply, definitely won't go there, by an almost grotesque neck that could not hold its head up to look at me. Huh? Um, yeah, still not going there. But what a surprise. This creature could speak my language. Shortly thereafter, I was given a bed with some hand motions that looked to be telling me to go to sleep. Turn the page. Look forward to learning more. Oh, new day. As I suspected, <laughs> the ancient creature is a human, but he is old beyond his old own reckoning and seems almost insane. Almost. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. However, the tree dwellers almost revere him as a god. They are treating me now in the same fashion, which makes me feel very uncomfortable. It is almost impossible to understand this old man. His voice is feeble, but wild! He has adopted much of the language of the tree dwellers. He himself told me he had not spoken our own tongue in ages. It's because he's been speaking monkey, apparently. Oh. He attempted to explain to me the history of this place. The following is my best 
translation of what he has told me. Many years ago, the humans and twee, twee, tree dwellers twee. <laughs> twee, lived together in this place, which was then a vast island. They interacted very little. The humans, who, humans dealt humans. on the ground and the tree dwellers. Why are you moving your microphone around? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, that, uh, you lived high above the humans. Occasionally, the island was disturbed by mysterious... Rumblings. Rumblings, <laughs> which happened randomly. Some sort of... Oh, th this is him. Some sort of tectonic or volcanic action, I suspect. The sometimes slight, sometimes heavy tremors would only last a short time. Then they would stop allowing everything to return to normal. One day, things changed. The rumbling began and grew quickly to unprecedented levels. Soon, it became apparent that the entire island was sinking slowly into the ocean around them. Many of the humans screamed, Aah! and died that day. <laughs> but not before sacrificing themselves in order to stop the sinking of the island. The humans, who lived through this catastrophe, moved into the trees where they gradually died out maybe because they were unequipped for such an environment but i am not sure this is the story the old oh sorry <laughs> this is the story the old man communicated to me although many details are very unclear in my mind i am especially confused as to how the humans saved the island from completely sinking in fact i doubt the accuracy of that part of the story the island must have stopped on its own. Yet the old man believes in the truth of the story as if he had been there. And the tree dwellers worship him. And apparently all humans as if he, uh, well, they, were he <laughs> heroes or gods. It, it says he, but then it's slashed. Slashed. Typo. Righto. Whatever it is. Righto. The old man ended our conversation today with an event which I will never forget. He began gripping my hands tightly, murmuring something about rest and asleep. He then said, we had expected you to come sooner. These actions filled me with a sort of immediate dread. Time to run. With much effort, he stood to his feet. I tried to help, but he pushed me away with more force than I imagined his frail body contained. The tree dwellers quietly surrounded him with very solemn faces. Aww. They then kneeled before him. He walked to each and placed his hand on their heads. All the while he murmured which words, which I did not understand. He murmured, he murmured words. With, okay. Finally, he turned to me and smiled. Then he closed his eyes and walked out the door and off of the narrow path. High in the trees. The tree dwellers were silent. It began a procession down the nearest rope ladder. As I was descending, this is a really long book, yeah. I saw several of them pick up the body. He had fallen onto a lower level of walkway and carried away. He was laying down uh, at the dead end of a short pier-like structure. No, no pun intended there. With nope. the use of some potion, one of the tree creatures it, it the pier on fire. It, oh, lit the pier on fire, and I watched as the flames engulfed him. See, it was the dead end of... Okay, anyway. As this strange <laughs> funeral proceeded, the waters around the pier changed to dull green. This morning I... Oh, sorry. Next day. This morning I awoke, finding it hard to even believe the previous evening's events. The water is dull green for as far as I can see now. For some reason, the water no longer shifts color. As I wander throughout the pathways, the creatures watch me, curious to see what I will do next. They are constantly offering me strange objects of affection. I even found food outside the doorway to the room in which I had slept. This is a unique race of beings. I hope to learn their language soon so that I may learn from them. Now it's blue. Now we got a blue pen, apparently. I guess he ran out of ink on his black? I don't know. I have lived on this world for three months off and on, and the tree dwellers have shown great hospitality. 
I am even beginning to learn bits of their language. I decided to return home for an extended stay with my loving wife and my sons and hopefully return with them. However, I am sure Catherine will once again refuse. I think this age would be a wonderful experience for them all, and I at least look forward to how Cirrus and Akinar will react to its curious inhabitants that must be his sons. Maybe. Now it's green. Hmm. Catherine is staying behind, as expected. My sons have returned with me, and they enjoy this age very much. They get along very well with the tree dwellers and are picking up their language surprisingly fast. I have no doubt that it will not be too long until they can speak with the tree dwellers much better than myself. All right, next day. I am leaving tomorrow <coughs> to check on Osmoian age. <laughs> Cirrus has suggested that I allow him and his brother to stay. Though the idea unsettles me, I know the boys are growing up rapidly. The hospitality of these creatures is such that I could think of no better place to leave them alone for a short while. So I will consent to their... Request. Oh, okay. I'm like, Revist? I couldn't see the queue. Oh, well, the bottom of the queue. Yeah, it's like connected to the yeah. eye. <laughs> like, wow, what is that? I warned the boys not to take advantage of the respect the tree dwellers have for their ideas. They seem to understand my warning, and I have faith they will follow it. <clears throat> Next day. Yeah. Much to my dismay upon arriving in Everdeen's. Everdeen's. Everdeen's, Everdeen's or something. I think that's an I. Well, it looks like a U. Looks like a U, but it's too close to the D. I think that's an I. I learned that Pran and her people are continuing to be menaced by the cock tick chock chock tick chocolate I don't know I fear for their survival and plan on returning to her shortly after checking on Cirrus and Akinar here see ever maybe it is ever dunes now it looks like a you see ever dunes journal for more information after watching Cirrus and Akinar I see they are f handling things very well and I think I can put to rest any fears about leaving them in Channel Wood again. Uh, More colors. Jeez. And for a little longer time, we'll keep reading this book. No, I'm just kidding. The tree dwellers seem slightly distressed that I am leaving, but are happy that Cirrus and Akinar are staying behind. I have been gone for over three days and have been to many different places. I had to tell Cirrus and Akinar about Pran's death today. And they were visibly shaken, although they only remembered her from their childhood. Catherine has suggested that it would be wise for Cirrus and Akinar to leave Channelwood for a while, and I have to agree. They will be returning with me when I leave again. Aww. More colors here. I have told my sons that they will be returning with me in two days. They spent the entire night Tell telling... Us? Telling me. one of us. No, me. telling one of an adventure. Telling, oh, telling me. me. Oh, jeez, please. <laughs> uh, they experienced in my absence, and it was rather remarkable. It seems they constructed a boot with the creatures and traveled. Sorry, boat with the creatures. It looks like boot. And traveled some ways out into the surrounding waters. I don't know what you're talking about. I enjoy hearing them talk excitedly of their adventures, and am reminded of my own adventures as a child. I finally understand why the tree dwellers have been giving me their many inks and insisting I write with them. Looking through some of my past entries, I see now that the inks have changed from the black, I thought they were, to various different colors. I have shown some of the creatures my journal, and they laughed and howled. howled. I did not know they had such a sense of humor. <laughs> Even now, as I look through this very colorful journal, I cannot help but laugh myself. Another day. We will be returning tomorrow, so my sons are with the creatures for the last night here. They have told me they would like to come to Channelwood again, and also asked if they can visit some other ages alone. Though I will have to think over their request, I believe they have proven to me that they are trustworthy and responsible. Catherine will also have to help me decide which, oh sorry, whether they are ready for travel alone. 
For now, I must give my farewells to the creatures, for I do not know how long it will be until I visit this age again. Well, we got some drawings here. Something about a future bridge. I guess maybe this is a town? Something? Those are bridges? Maybe this is what we're looking at? Hmm. What is that, a windmill? I don't know. <laughs> no more pages! I guess that's it. Oh! We can skim through the other ones. Uh, well, why don't we do the other ones maybe like on another another show? Alright, so we saw that. Now what are we going to do? Go right. Go right. Oh, we backed up. Um, I still can't. Oh. There we go. Sorry. Ooh, paper. Paper. Alright. We taking that? Yeah. Alright. It's in our hand. Maybe it belongs to the book? Should we put it in the book? We could try. Alright. Oh, that did something. What in the world? Are we going to look at this book? Yeah. Alright. Huh? Pages. Something about blue pages. Never, never. Pages. I must have the blue page. Blue pages. <laughs> Seems a little insane to me. I think he's trapped in the Phantom Zone. That's, you know, Superman's enemies. So he says something about blue pages, so I guess we find blue pages and put them in the blue book. Alright. Where are we going here? In the fireplace. In the fireplace? Well, there might be something in there. Let's take a look. Whoops. Oh, we're... Oh, there's a button! There's... Oh, okay. What the... Push the door. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, maybe we have to find a picture. Maybe. I've never been in here. Can we get out? I push the button. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. I wonder how, what that is. Well, there's a pink book. All with right. the pink paper. And there's a map. Are we, are we taking this too? Yeah. Right. Put that in that book. Well, there's a guy just saying pink pages. Who am I? Bring me your Yeah, he said. Bring Red me pages. Up. It's pink. Of course you can't. I think he said something about br a bridge. That's Cirrus. That's one of the guy's sons. So what if the other guy is that, the son? That might be his other son, because he mentioned Cirrus over there, too. Oh, it's a good thing we read that story. Yeah, that kind of helped. Alright, where are we going now? We still got those markers to count. Um, well, there's two right now. Look at the map. Um, I'm guessing that circle is where we are, and then there's a box with something underground. Actually, that might be a tower. Hmm. Well, 
Oh, something's moving. Huh. I don't think that's where we're at. No, probably not. Nothing else um, clicks. Okay, well then go out. Go right. I said right. Outside? Right. Right. Oh, right. Right. There's paintings. Could look at them or something. Alright, so what is this a painting of? A door? Kinda looks like a door. Yeah, it does look like a door. Can we get closer to it? Nope, but apparently we can touch it. Well, that did Hey! Something. It looks like that painting almost. Yeah, it does. The bookcases. What if there's a door? <coughs> What's what? What if there's a door? There is a door. We can go in. Alright. Huh. An elevator. <laughs> Are we going inside? Yeah. Library. I guess go up the ladder. Alright, well this has something to do with a book here, so... Oops. No. Nothing here. Can't walk over there. I see stairs, so there might be something on the other side, so I guess we'll go... Around, around. that, maybe? A key. There's a key, alright. And that looks like a nothing. trap door or something. Well, yeah. like a secret entrance. Something. Well. I guess we go back down. Interesting. I don't like small dark places. Well, I guess we'll make our way through here. Alright, we're down. Oh, that's the way out and it's blocked. Hmm. What if we hit that same painting again? Uh, let's see. Apparently not. Um well there is another painting. Is there? Alright, let's see. Trying to get... Oh! That used to be closed. Oh, is that the... I oh, think it is. Oh, the, you, oh, the picture was closed before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least I think it was. Maybe I it hear was. wind. We're it free! It opened the door, yeah. Yeah, let's still got it, so... Alright, let's go out. Well... I say... Let's pick this up... Next time. On, on next time. Meanwhile, let's switch over to uh, Real Mist and see what it's like when we're moving through 3D space.
fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Well, I guess we just follow the same motions we did before. We'll click on the book. Except for reading that story again. Oh yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. That's a big difference. Ooh. We can turn around, apparently. Whee! Interesting. Well, that's Jeez. pretty cool. I don't remember seeing that. Why is it all glitchy? I have no idea. No, my computer is not exactly slow. Alright, let's just do everything the same we did before. So we'll... Wait, you can like move now? Yeah, check this out. Alright. One. <laughs> so we got one. Yeah, we have to do the exact same motion. This is cool. I think I like this version better. Because it's like you can move and not click and. Yeah. Yeah, but the other ones, I mean, that's classic, so. True. We have to do the same animation. Right now. Kind of oh, yeah, we went this way. And it's getting more choppy. Why are you choppy? I may have to turn the graphic settings down. Shouldn't be. You probably oh put goodness. it too high. Yeah, my computer is not that slow though. All right, so we'll look at this letter. Um, maybe. Catherine, I have left for you a message. Blah blah blah. Okay, so we read that. Can I like put it down? Okay, I had to right click to get that. Let's move here. Alright, so we saw two. And then we went in the library and we were in there for basically the entire time. Well, see, look at that. Why is it. Maybe um, you should change it. Glitch on some. Yeah, well, I'll change it and then hopefully it'll be better the next time. So we won't do all the same exact stuff, but, uh, well, you know, like, we won't read this book completely, but at least we can take a look at it. Okay, so it's, um... The words are more readable. That's true. They are more readable. Hey, how much not clicking here? I think you should change it now. Huh. All right, well, I think we get the idea. Okay, so we had clicked. That was the. Sorry. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. That is the. the yeah. Stairway. Really? <laughs> yeah, that there? is still. Are you serious? We just changed it a lot lower. Alright, let's just. Don't even keep look going. that way. <laughs> Not that way. Don't look that way. Why? We can't. We it gets to. jaggedy. Let's See, I told you. There's a bird. It looks a lot better than the other bird. I don't think this thing was programmed very well. well it looks now, great, but. Yeah, now this is the problem. Since it's not the whole clicky thingy, then it can, like, glitch and stuff. 
Uh, I guess that won't work. Oh, we have to get close. Well, at least it didn't crash. Yeah, luckily. Alright, well. Wait, what about the papers? Oh, well, we'll go do that when we come back. Okay, I wonder if the people look Whoa. smoother. Whoa! It's like, it's like smooth in some areas and smooth now. That's kind of cool, actually. Alright, let's go into the elevator. Um. Okay. So we're in the elevator. Oh, oh. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, you closed the door. I was gonna say that the button was on the wrong side, but I guess not. See, this is more realistic. You have to push the door. Oh, there's something blue. Oh, that's a life. Alright, this is the side with the book. Okay, so here we are on this side. And it looks a lot bigger in this game. It does seem a lot bigger in here. Ah, I'm gonna fall. Alright, um, let's go around. Where's the key? Guessing we can't go up here. Kind of the same for the moment. Well, if we find a key, then that means that we can try. Oh, uh, the it doesn't even look like there's a thing to put a key. Well, not like that's looking for a book, so maybe it's a symbol for something. <laughs> it might be looking for a book. I'll shut that. All right. Why do the lights turn off? I don't know. You know, I was just thinking, we weren't wondering if this game was going to own us, and I think it did own us when it decided to crash on us. Three times. And I was like, ha ha ha. Alright, let's go back. Oh, it's getting choppy again. Ugh, oh, so choppy. I promise, folks, I'm not running on some, like, 486 or something. All right, door's closed. We didn't go in the thingy yet. The, not that, the... The fireplace? Yeah. Well, so let's at least shut this door. That's not the one. Oh. All right. Made the same mistake as the last time. You have to get closer to it. Watching the bookshelf. They're pretty cool. Okay, let's go into the fireplace. We went in there. Well, we should look up. Can't. I wanted to look up the fireplace. What could possibly be in here that's causing this to glitch like that? All the lines? Really? Lines? Any... Yeah, like the bricks and stuff. Nothing else. Still the same. All right. Well, kind of the same. How do we get out? Oh, there we go. Just had to click twice, apparently. Whoa, the ceiling! It looked like the sky. That's kind of cool. Breathing. Inwards. Alright, let's get to the book. We'll do those, those two parts. And then that'll be. That. Oh, look at their inventory down there in the corner. It's showing them oh. holding the page. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what, folks? I think I've had enough of this 
nonsense game yeah crashing and stuff what a that's not fun anyway um we'll continue this on uh another episode another video yay all right thanks for tuning in bye bye and if you thought that was sad and pathetic then you might want to click on one of these other videos to see how sad pathetic and owned we really are at these games and if that wasn't enough you can certainly subscribe we'd appreciate it you might be sorry that you did but hey you can watch all of our videos and then leave a comment about how owned we really are you may even want to post more than once just to get your point across you can even like or dislike these videos we won't hold a grudge and then leave comments on other games we can mess up on and get totally owned like the pathetic losers we are as always thanks for watching and have a killer day uh.